Inspiration Station, Worship 94.5 FM. Your man, Roger, holding it down for you. Told you that I had my girl, Angie Stone, checking in with me tonight. We got to discuss this new album she just dropped and all the stuff she has going on. We're going to talk about some throwbacks tonight. My girl, Angie Stone. Hey, how are you? (laughs) I'm doing pretty good. Let's talk about this new album, Love Language. Now, I know it took about two years to get the new project out. But your roots run deep. Now, tell me how it feels to be this deep into the music game and still being able to drop new projects for your fans. Well, first of all, it took me two weeks to do this album, not two years. Two weeks. I was given a deadline of of, uh, 14 days. So I went in literally every day doing almost two songs a day. It felt good and, and crazy at the same time because I vowed that I was done. I didn't want to do another record because I just didn't think the industry was embracing real music like they should anymore. And so I was a little hesitant to give 100% knowing that it would fall on shaky ground. However, I figured if I went in, I would better go hard. And I went in, I gave it 110%. And the results are obviously panning out in my favor because the album has been very, very well received. And I'm surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to God more than anything because to still be relevant after almost 50 years in the game, to be able to appease both audiences, I should say the millennials and the older, grown and sexy, and all of that good stuff. It makes me feel special in the way that we were created. So I'm just happy that I wasn't the kind of mindset that kind of gets stuck on one hit song. You've got several songs, hits and deep cuts, and we're gonna talk about a few of them, but let's talk about the gym featuring music first. It's the one that I've been playing here on the Love Offering. How did you come up with this concept? And you know, we love the wordplay on this one. That concept actually came from my, my manager, Walter Millsap, and a young lady by the name of Candice came up with the concept along with the producer who is phenomenal. He actually did Dinosaur and a, a bunch of the other hits on the last album. They actually came up with the gym because they kind of know me. I'm a type of person that writes metaphorically and I'd love for a song to have a dual meaning. So in order to take a, a song like The Gym and have it synonymous to a gym, at the same time, the relationship be the gym stone, it's kind of a play of words. So coming up with the concept is part of the key of being creative. Teak and uh, Candace are, are phenomenal in that right. And they completely understand Angie Stone. So that is the perfection of, you know, who I am as an artist. So they know they got to bring it when they come to me. They got to bring it from a magical standpoint. So a lot of people think that, okay, Angie, you did this. I What I did was put my twist and turn on it. But I, I work with a team of people that are just phenomenal. I mean, painting the picture with the words alone. <laughs> that, that gym is something crazy. The backgrounds, the arrangements. I mean, music did his thing. He is a, definitely an uh, inspiration to me. He, um, the, the arrangements that he put on his vocal makes you get your A game together. So he did his thing in shaping that song up so that it would be, you know, what it is. Listen, we're not done with my girl Angie Stone. So much more on the way. It's like the takeover tonight on the Love Offering. So you guys keep it locked. More on the way with my girl Angie Stone. The Inspiration Station. Worship 94.5 FM. The Inspiration Station. Worship 94.5 FM. Your man Roj still holding down with my girl Angie Stone. Talking about her new album, Love Language. Now, I just saw some teasers earlier this week online angie i know you just shot your video for a good man and i can only imagine you've done every concept to a video imaginable during your run in this industry how do you keep it fresh when it comes to the concepts for your videos just like most things you know in my lyric to no more rain this cloud it says what goes around comes around so i believe that if you have never seen it but we have the the beauty of having wisdom and aged beauty is you've seen this before so you know the impact 
of what seeing something like this did. I wanted to capture a moment that touched me, and that was in the movie Sparkle, when Irene Cara had the beautiful red dress on, and she was uh, in front of a beautiful audience. And when she sang her song to her man, it was so heartfelt. All I could think of in my mind is, I need to recreate something similar to that so that people can see what a love story really looks like. So I went and got me a red dress, setting the mood, and then I had, instead of a light-skinned man with curly hair, I had a strong black man with a out-of-this-world physique stand with me while I serenaded him on being a good man. And I thought that he was the epitome of what a good man should feel like, look like, be like, and cause you to, to, to you know, feel a certain way. So I think it, it's reminiscent in the flow of energy that you catch there. And you have your son on your album as well. Was this something that you approached him with? Or did he get with you when you two just decided to, like, create some magic? Oh, he approached me with it. You know why? Y'all let me do something on that drill. And I was not going to do it, but my producer was like, hey, we ought to get Mike to throw something on this. So, you know, because he is talented and he's very quick on his feet with writing, I was just curious to see what he was going to come up with lyrically. And he got on there and smashed it like in one take. And that's when I realized, okay, this guy's talented because he actually did the summary of the song in his rap. And I just was blown away because it's, it, I shouldn't be, I should be used to that energy because he operates and, and moves like both his dad and myself. So it did not strike me as odd, but I was happy that he was able to get involved on my project. Well, look, next hour we have our Throwback Thursday <laughs> selection. My girl Angie Stone in the building with me. We got the takeover taking place right now on the Love Offering. You guys keep it locked right here at your Inspiration Station. Worship 94.5 FM. Inspiration Station, Worship 94.5 FM. Your man, Roger, holding it down for you. Time for your Throwback Thursday selection. And since we're hanging out with my girl, Angie Stone, tonight, we're going to take it back to 1999. The Black Diamond album, you guys know it all too well. No more rain in this cloud. Let's play it. Then we're going to talk about it. Let's do that. <laughs> right here at your Inspiration Station, Worship 94.5 FM. Throwback Thursday selection, No More Rain in This Cloud with my girl, Angie Stone. Hanging out with her tonight to take over on the Love Offering. Showing so much love to this new album, Love Language. Now, Angie, I have a, several series on my TikTok that I've been doing. And one of them was Perfect r and Just wrapped that one not too long ago. But I included this very song on that series. And to this day, it still sounds so fresh to me. Now, what was your mindset when you did No More Rain in This Cloud? And what was like your goal for listeners to get the full Angie experience? Well, when, when I did No More Rain in This Cloud, I am the type of person that I gravitate to clever. And my dad used to uh, always say to me, when there was no money in his pockets, if the ice cream truck came along, I would ask him for a, you know, a quarter, and he'd say, ain't no rain in this cloud. He said it to me so much that I said, one day I'm gonna write a song called Ain't No Rain In This Cloud. Well, when it was synonymous for me to do that was after my heartbreak and the birth of my son, how can I make this record make sense to the world? and make even more sense to me. But when I did No More Rain in This Cloud, it was me preaching to myself. Because at that time, the industry had really hurt me in the rejection of my relationship to his father. And I didn't know how I was going to recover because I was just like, if the world's mad at you, what do you do? Well, then what you do is you speak back to the world. And so I had to let the world know is, no matter what you do to me, my sunshine is coming. I'm all cried out. There's no more rain in these clouds. But after looking at the birth of my son, I realized that I was done crying, that God had given me the ultimate blessing. And that was how I, you know, shook the jitters, got all the necessary pain off, and kind of, you know, healed, put a Band-Aid on my own wound. And in doing so, I put a Band-Aid on the world because there was a lot of people going through a lot of things, and that spoke volumes to their situation. 
Listen, Angie's bag runs deep. <laughs> we got some more throwbacks on the way. We got to discuss more of this music, Angie. You guys keep it locked right here. Your inspiration station. Worship 94.5 FM. My girl, Angie Stone with Every Day. Right here, your inspiration station. Worship 94.5 FM. I really love this record. This is one of my favorite releases from you, Angie. But what I really love is the cadence of which you sing in this song. <laughs> Tell wow. me a little bit about that one. You picking out some good ones. Every day, believe it or not, D'Angelo had given me that track. And uh, he was on vacation in Virginia. It took, it's the longest time it ever took me to write a song. About a week went by and I was saying, man, what can I come up with this song? It can't just be anything because the track's so dope. It's just got to be, you know, incredible. So I'm sitting there and every day I'm coming up with this and I'm coming up with that. And one day it hit. Now I had my vows with love, going through things you never heard of. And when I felt it, I felt the cadence. And I'm like, this is it. I was so ecstatic when I got to the hook. Every day, every day, every day, babe. When I got to the hook, I picked up the phone. I screamed, I called this phone. I said, hey, I got it. Check this out. And I just started singing this song. And he was like, yo, babe, that is dope. And that's when I knew I had hit a home run with that song because it felt like good soul music. It felt like a cadence that was supposed to fit like a glove. And so when I did it, it was the first song that I'd ever written. The second song was called Die, which they, if you look at, uh, I ain't gonna tell you to go to YouTube because they released it without permission, but Mary J. Blige and them tried to redo it called Paradise but it was actually called Die. I wrote those two songs together and those were the best two songs I had ever, ever written at the time with that soulful flow behind it. So every day is definitely, definitely at the top of the list. I love hearing like stories, like the backstory to some of my favorite records, man. Listen, we got more coming up with my girl, Angie Stone. I want you guys to keep it locked right here, your inspiration station, Worship 94.5 FM. So much more on the way for you right here. Your inspiration station, Worship 94.5 FM. Talking to my girl, Angie Stone. <laughs> uh, we're, we're doing these throwbacks. We're talking about these throwbacks. Let's talk about $20. Because I feel like <laughs> there's such a story behind it, but I feel that's something uh, a lot of women went through. But just in general, people that always ask you for something and ain't got nothing to give you back. What was a that little bit, part. that story that you had behind $20? Well, $20 is, is, once again, is one of those stories that everybody wish they could talk about, but don't nobody have the guts to say it. When you loan somebody some money, uh, and I'm sure you can attest to this, how many times do you loan people money and they never pay you back? Well, first off, when you loan money, you never forget that you're owed money. And so when you loan somebody some money and they say, I look, I'm gonna give it back to you, trust and believe that you're sitting there the entire time waiting on them to reimburse you but a lot of people think because you are fortunate enough to get it especially me i mean just on they think superstar they think money they think making records they don't realize there's a lot a lot that goes on with the music industry so it's just not all smoke and mirrors at the end of the day you pay for everything and so can you loan me twenty dollars teaches everybody a lesson quit asking people for money just because you think they have it i'm gonna let you know that all that till i get my check next week it don't work with me because at the end of the day i got if i collect half the money that i'm old in the world i'd be rich i could retire <laughs> so twenty dollars is definitely a song for you and a song for me so when people start begging you for money you know they're coming over to visit put the record on let it play so they know coming through the door nope no, okay nothing you hear me <laughs> a little more time with my girl angie stone uh yeah i got another favorite that's coming up i want you guys to keep it locked right here your inspiration station where's your 94.5 fm my girl Angie Stone, Dinosaur, from her Full Circle album that dropped in 2019. One of my favorites. This is definitely one of my favorites now. Uh, I'm not going to lie, Angie. My friend Justin out in L.A. had to make me a playlist of like deep cuts that he felt like I was sleeping on. Or maybe I just ignored or something. I don't know. 
but I do feel like this is one of my favorite records, one of your most most clever records. Now, how do you even come up with records like this? It's like Dinosaur. It's like that ta- that uh, super tag team, T Thunder Do and, and Candice and myself. Dinosaur has an awkward beat to it, but it's a dope beat. Basically, what it kind of tells women and men, quit trying to open up old wounds. If you're going to forgive somebody, forgive somebody. You can't keep opening that door back and taking a peek at what they did yesterday. If you're going to forgive somebody, forgive somebody, let it go. But to say you forgive somebody and you can't, I'm not saying you will ever forget it, but you've got to let it go long enough so that you can get over it. And I just think Dinosaur is the greatest, sassiest way to kind of say, mind your business, stop opening up old uh, wounds, let go and let God. Man, I'm telling y'all, the bag runs deep. We got a little more time with my girl, Angie Stone. Um, Yeah, keep a lot right here. Your inspiration station, worship 94.5 FM. Your inspiration station, worship 94.5 FM. Your man, J hanging out with my girl, Angie Stone. Dropped her album here recently, Love Language. And it's it's one that you got to take a listen to. I've been discussing like some of my favorite records throughout the night. And I know it's time to let you go, Angie. But before I do, let me know what you're hoping that we as listeners experience from this new album, Love Language. I'm hoping that people take away that um, that gifting is limitless, that whatever God has gifted you with, he has prepared you to go through the journey for the long haul, that there's no such thing as I don't have nothing else to write about. Every day that you wake up and breathe, life offers new challenges. And I just feel like there is no end to your story until it's over. I want people to walk away knowing like, tag. And you're still making good music. It's because it's what I was born to do. I'm so with it. Angie, thank you for your time tonight. This has been one of my favorite shows uh, so far. I love when I get to do takeovers with some of our favorite artists. I'm going to wish you continued success. All right. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Seriously. All right, guys. I got a little more time with you, but once again, be sure you stream my girl Angie Stone's new album, Love Language. Keep requesting uh, the latest single, The Gym and Good Man, playing right here on the Love Offering. You guys keep it locked right here. I got so much more on the way. The Inspiration Station, Worship 94.5 FM.